Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you saw, this little intro that I had there was a little different than what we normally have. That's because today the video is going to be a bit different. So we all know what the climate of the world is right now. Things are pretty crazy out there and right now a lot of people are needing to work from home while the pandemic calms down in order to reduce any transmission of the virus, the coronavirus. We are in the middle of a health pandemic. Now, Craig and I have actually been working from home for about five years now, probably a little over five years. And I know a lot of people aren't actually used to working from home. So we were thinking it'd probably be good and very helpful to kind of show people what our day looks like when we're working from home and also just give you a ton of tips on how to remain productive while working from home. It can be really difficult to kind of get yourself into the groove of things, especially if you've been used to having like a very not cookie cutter, but you know, very directive way of doing things. Now you're kind of left to your own devices in a way. So we wanted to just kind of give you a glimpse into what working from home looks like and hopefully assist you with being really productive during this time. So as you just saw, I was making my tea. That's one of the first things I do during the day. But even before that, I always meditate. So our first tip is to start the day with a mindfulness activity. For me, that's meditation and for Craig as well. And just being able to start the day kind of in a slower way to prepare yourself before you dive right into everything. So I usually put my tea on, uh, sit down, do my meditation or lie down here, do my meditation, get my tea and then head over to the laptop to get everything, you know, moving. Hey guys, I'm editing the video right now and I just realized I forgot to tell you the app that I use, which is called Insight Timer. I love this app so much. Craig uses it as well. I feel like Craig put me onto it. I did. Um, well, you did. Uh, really, really great app because there's a few options there in terms of having guided meditations, which is really awesome and different times to use it. So I will put the link to the description below. Back to the video. And looks like we have a guest now coming into the, the vlog, our other featured Hey host. guys. <laughs> Finally here. We made it. Uh, so I'm breaking down the routines. I've only gone into mindfulness. Yep. Uh, and re doing the meditation, making my tea, and then heading to my laptop. So maybe you want to give them a bit of idea of what you do. Yeah, so we have a little bit of a different morning routine. I just, I'm a type of person just needs more sleep. Uh, and I don't sleep as well, so I have to be in bed longer to get a decent sleep. Which, guys, is a benefit of being able to work from home because you don't have to stick to, like, society's rhythm. Yeah. You get to stick to your own sar circadian? Uh, circadian. Circadian rhythm. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, mm -hmm. I hated working a full-time job and having to be somewhere it drove me crazy. It just didn't work for me. So what I do, I end up being in bed a little longer than Tiff, but I will meditate in bed. That's the first thing that I do. Then I go and make a tea, so instead of a tea bag, I make fresh ginger it's very tea. very gross ginger tea. Tiff doesn't like it. She's not a fan. It's so disgusting. But I also it add, smells uh, up the whole house. Yeah, it is pretty bad. It does <laughs> smell up because I add um, cayenne pepper powder to make it spicier. Because mm -hmm. I just want that burn in the morning. Yeah. And then I add some lemon at the end. I used to add honey, but I just thought I'd get sugar elsewhere, so I didn't want to put any honey in there. So I do that, and then I get changed. So one of the other tips... So first do. tip is to start with the mindfulness activity. Yes. Second tip is to establish a routine. So you saw what our routine was. Craig just broke his down for you. But that also could be like, I always go to the gym when I start. I wish I was going to the gym at some point too. But now we can't. Yeah, now we're not allowed to go. So we have to start a workout from home routine. Which that's that something out. interesting. Hey guys, trainers, this is yeah. a good time to start a YouTube channel. Yep. And tell us how to work out from home. But uh, that could be part of your routine as well. If you're going out for a jog, whatever you're doing to just kind of put you into a pattern of the day, yes. just like you would have been if you were like getting up and doing all the things that got you to your desk at work. That's it. Yeah. Uh, another key thing is to make the bed. It yes. seems ridiculous and I've seen people laugh at it before, but the strange thing is it's one of the key things that most successful people do. Yeah. If you have an unmade bed, it kind of suggests an unmade messy life. So yeah. just that four, whatever, four, three to four minutes of, it depends how like intense your bed is, I guess, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> a couple minutes of just making that bed and just making it neat. I don't yeah. know, it's important to me. I can't stand it. I have to no, have yeah. that made like as soon as I'm out of it. It, yeah. it drives me crazy. So uh, with definitely. that as well, you also want to change out of your pajamas. So yes. when you're working from home, it's super easy to just be like, oh, I'm just going to like sit in the same thing I'm sitting in all day. But then when you do that, you don't mm -hmm. do the switch that you need to get you into work. Yes. So if you're just sitting in the same thing that you're sleeping in in bed, you also don't separate the work from your life yeah. and that just kind of will throw you off so we always always like 
take our shower and switch out of our clothes and go into general work clothes. I'm wearing like lounge bottoms and an acceptable top for phone calls. Shit. That's what oh, I do. Same you do thing. a lot of, yeah, yeah so you just, but well, yours is a sweatpants. good top. You know, you don't want to be like in your pajamas. A lot of people are probably going to be on the phone. A lot of our clients who are working from home now with like companies of a thousand people who are all now working from home, I'm assuming everyone's <clears> in <throat> pajama video bottoms. Calling. Yeah. But also a nice <laughs> top to make things work. You never know what the person's wearing on the bottom. You never know. You yeah. never know. So I'm tired of squatting. I'm going to go to my desk. All right, guys. So I'm at my desk here. Uh, I am amongst a pile of hard drives uh, and studio monitors. It makes me feel at home. I got some greenery as well. So first thing I would do is uh, jump on the laptop here and uh, dig into some uh, mild work. I like to do, like I said, my hectic stuff in the evening. So right now I'm looking at Asana, which is one of our organizational tools that we use. Tiff is gonna go into detail about that in a sec. Um, and we have all of our editorial calendar for all of our high season videos and blogs. Now, we've said this in one of our videos before, I'm the long form guy and Tiff is the visual person. So I would typically write the script for the video in a blog post style and then we would essentially go off those talking points when we record our videos for this one because it's kind of like our daily life we don't need like a you know an essay to be able to explain you know help us explain to you what we're doing and all the different tips oh yeah not off the handle off the cuff off the cuff yeah off the cuff we're swinging it because we know you know these are our favorite videos we don't have to think too much when they're uh Instructional. instructional we really do have to dial down and it has to be accurate or it's going to be problematic so um for this one i'm going to probably spend some time today and i'm going to chip away i'm going to write the blog post for this you can take a look there yeah, um okay. i'm going to write the blog post for this one today so that's probably where i would start i personally am a constant email checker i'm kind of like i like flittering around so i like doing little things i feel like the big tasks always intimidate me and i keep those for the evenings because i'm like all right now if i really have to dig down and do something serious no one's going to be emailing texting facebooking tweeting me at you know 2 a.m or whatever so that's why i like to do my bulk of my work there so during the day i just do bits and pieces and i know that i'm going to be attending to different things i have to make some phone calls and cancel a uh an appointment because i ain't leaving the house so, and it's also a doctor's appointment. You can't go to the hospital. There's that too. You shouldn't be going to the hospital unless you're actually Exactly. It's just like a, a small thing and it's it's like not really worth going for it. So I'm going to postpone that for a month or two. So that is what I'm going to do now. So before I pass you off to Tiff at her desk, the key here is to have a designated workspace. I've always been the type of guy to love a desk. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel comfortable. I like having all my cables here close where I can plug in all the hard drives when I need them. Um, I like sitting at the chair and having everything at my disposal. I don't know, something about it works for me as opposed to maybe sitting on a couch on a laptop. I get uncomfortable. I just, I don't like it. Um, this works for me. So it also helps mentally segment your work life and your like breaks, I guess, particularly when you've got a small space and you're in at home and you really have to try and designate. And that's something that we've learned over the years. We've found that if you don't do that, it kind of just becomes one long work day that never ends. Um, and alternatively, if you are kind of like lounging on the couch, maybe you might be just less inclined to even work hard. You might just be chilling and just cruising Facebook or something and just messing around, which is also what you don't want. So when you're at a desk, you know, all right, it's work time. I'm here. It means business. And then later on, you can have your breaks to segment it. So that is key. Make sure you have your own workspace. Oh my gosh. I love this. I want to see my mom's home office now. Given that everybody's having to work from home, this is actually hilarious. I just got a text message from my mom or a WhatsApp because the Jamaicans love WhatsApp. Just got a WhatsApp from my mom showing me her new office setup because even her archaic, archaic, archaic business or job has employees. asked their employees to work from home, which is super, super key. I'm going to send her this video after so she can have some productivity tips, you know? Ooh, that's a good one. Right? All right, guys, so the next tip for being productive while working from home is to find a work style that works for you. So this could really greatly vary between people. Everyone has a different working style. Just like Craig said, he likes to bulk all of his like very heavy tasks in the evening. I bulk the majority of my tasks in the morning, but I also have a lot of client interaction as well. So I'm kind of like very on. That's when I usually have like a lot of my meetings will be probably between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. I keep a window of meetings so that it doesn't take over my whole day or break up my day too much. I actually have a four o'clock 
So that's going to be coming up pretty soon. But find a work style that works for you. If it's easier for you to batch your work, so you're going to put four hours aside where you're basically going to be focusing on a certain project and not doing anything else, which is more similar to what you do when you're actually in employment, then do that for you. That's going to be the easiest way to keep things consistent to how you're used to it. Some people also work better in intervals. So doing 30 minutes, someone that we work with as a partner or a sister to our agency, he mentioned that he works in like 30 minute intervals. So he'll do 30 minutes on, then take a five minute break and like go get a coffee or go stand up or go stretch or go do something else and then dive back in for another 30 minutes. And then some people are just like, hey, I'm good. I can remain on top of things without needing any other distractions. So find a work style that works for you. I found a style that I really like, which is through Asana, as Craig mentioned earlier. I like to have all my tasks like laid out for the week. I used to do day to day, but then um, in a book that I reread recently, which most people know it's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Stephen Covey, the author, mentioned something about being extremely effective, which is looking at your week at a glance, so planning your week at a glance. That has changed so much for me because looking day to day is actually like too small or too narrow when you really generally have larger projects to focus on. I know that plant's not doing too well, right? No. We got a new plant and I, I just don't know what's going can you bring? Can you bring Pothy over here? Yeah. Guys, if anyone who watches our channel is a plant person... Please tell us what to do with Pothy here. Oh, she's just not looking too hot. Anyways, so find a work style that works for you. I'll give you a bit of insight into what Asana is. I love it. It's a project management tool that Craig and I use, and anyone who's working with us on a project also has to use it as well, including the contractors that we work with. So Craig's going to come over my shoulder here so I can show you a little bit more. Okay, guys, so this is Asana. So as you can see, it's Tiffany's weekly tasks, as I mentioned. So it allows me to look at my week at a glance and know all the projects I have to do today. I have client work, but I'm not going to go too into it because some of it, it's not sensitive, but I don't really like to talk too much about what our clients are doing. Then you can see I have what we're going to be doing for high season. So film day in the life, work from home vlog. So that's what we're doing. And it's under our how to stay productive when working from home. That actually attaches to like a larger project, which has all of our like full editorial calendar there and all the steps in our calendar. So I love Asana for keeping me organized. It's like a task list in a way, but a bit more enhanced. So as you can see, this is a style that I use that has worked really well for me in terms of listing out the tasks that I have for the week. So find a working style that makes sense for you. I highly recommend Asana. I love it. So definitely check it out. I'll leave a link to Asana in the description below. That we were going places, turning the memories fading. It goes around like trouble. All right, breakfast time. Now, breakfast is somewhat of a uh, malleable term for us. <laughs> um, I don't really want to say what time it is that we eat breakfast because I feel like we'll be judged. But and let's it's just whenever say whenever we feel like it, really, it's, it's just the first meal of yeah, the day. It's the first meal of the day. It's still light outside, right? That's so. it. So, and we don't have lunch if we if that makes sense. We eat twice yeah. a day. Yeah, we have dinner, and breakfast, and dinner, and we have some snacks in between. So we're pretty much full brunch squad. Yeah, you know, we about that life. Yeah, my computer's still on. Yeah, um, it's okay. So, uh, what do you have? So I got a little egg, kale, cherry tomatoes, avocado, and hummus plate going on here. Ooh, for yours is like... a lot of vegetables and colors. I'm really trying to up. I used to actually be keto. So, if, if for those who don't know, keto is like very high fat, no carb, which was like very reduced vegetables and fruit. Yeah. And like it was fine. It's supposed to help with your mental clarity, etc. Like balance everything in your body. But I just miss vegetables so much. So now I'm more yeah. plant focused than anything. Yeah, I what you got? That. What you got? So whilst Tiff was on keto, I was not keto, but I was eating a lot of the same foods. Uh, I wasn't keto because of my beer thing, and you can't really be keto and drink beer. No. So I am having a uh, I have two pieces of multi grain toast or a whole grain toast with Earth Balance because we don't really do too much dairy here. Yeah. And Vegemite, which is an Australian yeast spread, you might be familiar with it. Tom Hanks recently posted a piece of toast with way too much Vegemite on it and it hurt my soul. Uh, and then on top of that, I just have two fried eggs with all spiced up. And uh, to drink, we have um, oh, yeah. kombucha. Yeah. We drink kombucha every day. Love it is a, uh, a hoppy one. This one's called Hop Suspension, which is great. because Can't get away from the hops, you see. Oh, it just smells like beer. It's yeah. the best. It yeah. I feel like, you, like I may sound like an alcoholic, but it just smells, uh, smells great. Get in you. So, so, tip number... Oh, we're not numbering these. Number. So, next tip, take breaks. Take real breaks just yeah. as you would at work. You need that time to like, you know, break De things up. Decompress a bit. And yeah. Exactly. 
So we have this section, you might have sort of noticed that where the sofa is, it's actually like sectioned off. And I think we said that in our other video yeah. where we talked about this, but... That was our, um, what it's like working from a, like a couple from home video. So we put it there, there. We yeah. might have already put it up, I'm not sure, but it'll yeah. be in the description for sure. But basically we have this area and since we did this, it was just so cool because now we feel like... I don't know, it just feels kind of like cozy. There's a rug and it's near the heater and the curtains and like we're just in this little locked off area and we watch some YouTube. We would typically watch, I don't want to say what we watch, but just stuff to get some news and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be, once again, let me judge. You can it's ask like us in the up. comments what we watch and we'll yeah, tell we you. Yeah, we might say it. We'll see. We'll see. She, she was a DM. <laughs> we watch brother. a lot of YouTube. That's yeah. a big part of our so life. So we'll watch some YouTube stuff and usually get some information. We don't usually watch sort of like turning off the brain stuff. No. We'd like... We don't have time to be reading all these long form articles to find out what's going on. So some ways that we get our information is just quickly scan through some YouTube videos. Yeah, just... online news sources and stuff yeah. like that. Um, so yeah. yeah. Oh, and by the way, you probably noticed the set because it's our high season regular YouTube yes, set. Yes, I guess we didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you will recognize it. Yeah. From so as we're well. filming usually here. Uh, so yeah. it feels kind of Which right means at technically home. it's work too, but. YouTube's so fun. It's not work yet. So. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. work. I know it is work, but it's like fun work. Yeah. We're pretty lucky. All so, right, guys. Bon we'll appetit. We'll see you uh... right afterwards. Thoughts and God would save me, but I'm left with my sins. Pictures from the past coming towards me like an ocean. We had a meeting. I think that's what happened. I made a we meeting. had breakfast. Had a quick meeting with one of our clients, and we've just been doing work. Yeah. Other than that, and now it's time for another break. Coffee. Um, as you would have just seen, I rocked this on our V60 pour over. I've been taking classes to try and nail this. Uh, I'm going to get it fire eventually. I feel like I'm doing a decent job. I think the beans You're doing contribute a great to job. it. You're doing great, sweet. I enjoy it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So now that's our coffee break. We're going to hit you guys with a couple more. No, it's actually more than a couple if we really want to be serious. It's, it's, it's a several. few. It's at least a few. It's few to several. Is it a several? I don't know. It could be okay. few to several. But yeah. That definition is up in the air. But yeah. At least we know what a couple is. So a couple more tips on working from home. So during our coffee break, and we talked to you guys about segmenting the day mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So another way you can segment the day is actually save your calls to certain windows. Yeah. So today is Monday that we're filming this. Yeah. Uh, we only allow calls. We have like a calendar that we would send out to clients or people or potential clients that we uh, would talk to. And they can book a call in with us. Should I? Up, we should put it in the uh, description. Tell them about it. Calendly, it's a really great service, and it allows people to book your calendar just at any time. You set all the slots, and then they just book in, and they put in their name, their email, and their phone number, and yeah. then it just sets up the time in both of your calendars. So that was one fantastic hint that has really worked well for us over the, the while since we've been self-employed and working from home. Another one, it's all about the vibes, guys. Mm -hmm. Choose the music or the videos to suit your vibe. So say if we're working on something that maybe takes a little bit more concentration, we'd pop on, we have a, there's this record label called Selection out of mm -hmm. LA. They have these radio shows that go for two hours and they're often instrumental kind of like- Ambient-ish, it's called Future Beats. It's like this newer-ish genre. Kind yeah. of. It sounds like instrumental trap music really. Now if we're doing something a little bit more menial, maybe having to in, you know, input some receipts into our, our QuickBooks, things like that, we would pop on like a YouTube video. So Tiff is the queen of that. You would always find someone great on Keep YouTube um, popping. Yeah, yeah, whether typically social media or marketing, yeah, or marketing. business, and then when it comes coffee time. Oh yeah, we mess around it's in coffee the great time. time. We're about to watch some dumb stuff yeah. right now. And we love like yeah, we follow a lot of like more leisure, fun, ridiculous entertainment YouTube channels that are great for coffee breaks. You know, you and do it. Um, we also that's what taught us to vlog. And vlogging super key for us because on our other channel, BOS Podcast. We do a lot of vlog content with tourism boards and stuff like that, so it was important to know like how the format should be. Yeah, and this exactly. is kind of in a vlog format, but it's nothing compared to like when we actually like vlogging out. No, about. it's very different. We've yeah. actually never done one this way before. This is new. Yeah, this is new. Yeah, it's check fun. it out. New. I like it, right? Yeah. Figuring it out. Another way you can stay productive at home is to communicate expectations. Mm -hmm. So This one's for the employees, you said more. Yeah, this great, one's right? kind of more exactly. So yeah. between us, I mean, we've been doing this every single day for five years. Like, there's no weekends mean kind of nothing to us. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter. So we 
always are talking about business, so the communication's there. So say if you're new to this and all of a sudden you've, you're a couple, uh, maybe you have some kids and you've been sort of relegated to working at home during the crisis, you might not really know how that's going to work like for the interpersonal relationship. Yeah. So maybe you both have different schedules or different expectations from your superiors at work or whatever that might be. So definitely communicate that to your significant other that, you know, right now, hey, this is what I have to do today. This is what I have to do this week. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm not able to take care of the kid during from here to here. Can you take care of it? Just that level of communication is going to make it so much smoother. Yeah. Uh, I think between and keep the relationship healthy because I think a lot of people aren't used to what we are used to and just being like squished together in a small space. Oh, true. Because you know? we have a lot of people who are like, oh gosh, how do you spend so much time together? Yeah. And I'm like, Fine. Oh, like, oh, yeah. You yeah. For so long. Yeah. Um, also, with that communication, you're going to need to extend that to your colleagues and any uh, superiors or management at work as well. Just to make sure that people know what to expect from you. Mm -hmm. Also, how you're doing. Maybe this is causing a bit of stress for some people and, um, you know, Maybe some folks aren't handling it as well as others. It is quite a lot to be uh, to be sort of forced upon us all and so fast. Yeah. And the, the new normal right now for everybody is changing. This is something none of us have really lived through. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough one. So communication is exceptionally key. The next way to keep yourself productive while working from home is to meal prep. So this is keeping in line again it doesn't have to be for employees only but no. in that vein where like you did have a structure and it might be hard for you now like just kind of flying out there so meal prepping will allow you to kind of not worry about okay now 40 minutes in i have to be thinking about what i'm cooking yeah. and then you take like 35 minutes 40 minutes out cooking a meal or anything like that so if you meal prep and have your meals designated in the same way you would when you were working outside then you'll be able to just have your lunch when it's ready to go warm it up do exactly the same steps you would do uh while you were working and then just get back into work yes now the other side of that is you could use that meal prep time as some sort of a break maybe which is not. what we do yeah well not meal uh, prep we use the, the breakfast time. time depends what you're having um if you can save yourself some time do it but if you kind of want that meal prep time to just kind of like vibe out maybe you won't take a coffee break like we are now mm -hmm. or you'll just work later mm -hmm. whatever that might be for you just whatever works but just consider it the next tip is to get outside whenever possible now yeah. we know this is a bit of a unique situation in here because we're filming this during a social distancing i don't know what you even call it like blanket instruction or something yeah. we're all not technically supposed to be going out and gallivanting out there but generally speaking it really a change of scenery really makes a big difference so if you are somebody who's working from home we used to love to go to cafes every now and then we actually do have an office that we do not go to it's really bad but just in the winter just, in, just winter. in the winter in the summer we love it so the it's great because it's like 20 minute walk 15 or 20 minute walk yeah. from our house so we just go and then you get that outside time and then you get time in the office change of scenery is very very good so we definitely recommend it or just go outside and go for a walk just sometimes one it keeps you active but sometimes you just need like a refresher because when you're at a job you generally would go out and have a smoke break you shouldn't smoke no. but you go out and have some form of break walk around in the area or the office and mall wherever you are so definitely recommend going no. outside we used to do a lot of coffee breaks and we'd go up to a cafe and also just to get vitamin d just yeah. get some sun rays on us as well vitamins a big other thing which we're missing we're missing that right now yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the last one yeah is, is to end it end, end it. the day okay you that gotta end it that is our problem we've yes. said that in our last yeah. video because we were we just are... when we were putting this together we are like but we don't do it yeah but you should but you should yeah because yeah. not everyone is us yeah and that works for us mostly because it's weighted a lot of the work is weighted for me personally towards the end of the day so like i can't put an end time on yeah but we should I know we should, which means I'd have to change the day around. I'm not yeah. against that, but yeah. that's just how it's kind of worked. Yeah. So like the one, the big trap you get caught up in and working from home is just you just keep going. Mm -hmm. That so, also comes with loving what you do, which is so kind of cool. So it's harder because yeah. then you're enjoying it. So then you're like, when you're not doing it, you're like, oh, what am I not so doing? Like, I could be doing more. Exactly. You start so feeling guilty. Then you feel guilty. But if you're actually employed and just working from home right now, guys. Cut off the time at 5 p.m., okay? Your employer... Just, whatever it might be. They're only like, paying you for whatever you're supposed to be doing, so you don't need to go extra and above unless... That's you know, it. Unless you're getting paid for <laughs> unless it. Unless you're getting paid you for it. prove yeah. it somehow if you yeah. got a VPN or whatever, but yeah. just be conscious of that and conscious of your time. And I know your employer wouldn't want that either. It's uncertain for everybody, and mm -hmm. if everyone's working too much, it's just going to cause more stress, which mm -hmm. can lead to more problems. So exactly. Nobody wants that. you got to look after your health, first and foremost. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. Those are our tips. Who knows how many they were for yeah. being productive while working at home. 
Guys, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from us. Follow us everywhere at High Season Co. And check out our blog posts and other resources at HighSeasonCo.com. Let us know if you liked this video type format because yeah. it's something newer for us. Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Be safe. Stay inside. Do all the right things. Peace. Peace.